Thank Welcome you. to Eco Summit. Thank you very much indeed. And I think, um, well, thank you for the um, good introduction by Constantine, actually. I'm going to be talking about the other side of the coin of e-mobility, which is uh, the batteries. So um, we build a predictive battery analytics software with the concept of digital twins. I, I think it's quite obvious the world is going electric. I don't need to dive into that, and there has been plenty of talk about that. But that also means, I mean, you have a nice Ferrari engine back in the days, but nowadays you're talking about the battery more than anything else. That's 30 to 50% of the costs, and there is significant problems with that. I mean, you probably know the, the quite obvious example of your phone. You buy it, and then a year later, it already runs out of battery at noon when it originally lasted for the whole day. And I mean, if you think that bigger in a car, or even bigger than that in stationary energy applications or buses, where you talk about uh, 200,000 euros of investment or a couple of million, then you have a problem. Well, uh, to further illustrate that and to really kind of uh, explain the problems of aging and the problems of developing car batteries, this is an example of the Nissan Leaf from a study from a Wellington-based university. And you can quite clearly see how there's a huge spread in how batteries age. And it's a very specific aging history to each battery. So that means after a certain period of time, you have less capacity available to you. Um, will that change over time? I mean, will there be improvements from the development? Certainly. It's usually in energy density and um, the, the range you can go, the original capacity. But we see in this example, the second generation was even worse than the first one with regard to the aging. So at the outset, you had a better battery. At the end of the life, or even into two years into the life, it was almost worse off than the original one. That was due to a change in cell chemistry. So you see, during development, you have a huge complexity in understanding your battery, in um, developing new ones, and then you have like six months to test your battery that's supposed to last 10 years. And if you add the warranty to that, and in this case it was five years, nowadays we're talking more about eight to 10 years, depending on the application, you see why manufacturers are worried. But shouldn't you also be worried if you own one? So if you own a battery, there's a warranty, and that's the manufacturer's problem. But if you own a vehicle eight years, your warranty runs out, and then your vehicle loses 50% of the value, or does it? That's actually where TWICE comes from, understanding aging, understanding battery condition. That's when Stefan and Michael, the founders of TWICE, started their research six years ago and developed an approach to really create transparency in that regard. So we see a bit of a complex slide here about a digital twin approach for batteries. Um, it's an easy message, though. So you have um, a life cycle approach, and um, we can do it for every industry with a battery, with a lithium-ion battery. Um, it starts, if you, uh, you may allow me to walk you through it, you start with a battery parameterization. So per battery type, you take it to the laboratory, you um, parameterize our model, then you have the twin in the cloud. And then this is constantly updated from the field. It's standard battery management system data. There's no additional census required. This allows you to collect the aging history. It also allows you to predict, to, to determine the current condition and predict the lifetime of the battery. Talking about this uh, end of life, end of warranty, it also enables you to do a second life application because you know down to the cell level the condition and predicted lifetime of each cell, module, and system, which means you can quite easily transfer to a stationary energy application. Um, we're currently doing this in um, um, three cases, and I'm going to walk you through them real quick. So we do it in development for especially the mobility application. Currently, for a truck manufacturer, which is like the higher up end of the scale, of the scale sorry. And we do it for power tools, which is like the very low end of the scale, but it shows how the system can work in different applications. Obviously, during the operation of the vehicle, there's quite a lot of optimization potential. And that's what we do and with precise, precise lifetime predictions and optimizations that can really decrease the TCO. And, I mean, this is probably very, uh, very interesting also for all the utility companies here. We do it in combination with a manufacturer and an insurance company to optimize the economic value of stationary energy storages. Um, well, for exactly, uh, for, um, for example, peak uh, shaving or trading, grid stabilization, and so on. 
Um, talking about a business model, I mean, what we do, the initial parameterization must be paid for. That's one fee. It's one of fee per battery type. And then every additional twin has a recurring uh, SAS subscription. Um, this is probably the, the slide we can be most proud of. The company is only 10 years, uh, 10 months old. Uh, research is a lot older, obviously, but we already have four paying customers in different industries and in different applications. Our team is already growing over 20 people, and we uh, raised uh, um, seed funding. Um, so what we're currently looking for is more towards a Series A funding round end of this year, and obviously uh, customers to test our solution with us and to really roll out in an industrial scale. Thank you very much.